this guy out. This is so cool. This is a marbled salamander. This is a fairly common salamander in this area as well. And they come out in winter to breed in areas just like this behind me. This is what we call a vernal pool or ephemeral wetland, temporary wetland, any number of names that you want to call it. But basically it is a wetland that typically fills up in fall and winter and it can't sustain life for fish because it's not deep enough. There's not really a natural source flowing in and out of it. But what it does support are things like salamanders and tadpoles. So it's a good habitat for amphibians and they won't get preyed on by fish. Now the cool thing about marbled salamanders compared to other salamanders is they will actually guard their eggs. So when the vernal pools are dry, they'll lay their eggs and they will lay around them until the vernal pools, the first winter rains come to fill the pools and they will guard and lay around the eggs until the waters start to fill the pool. The, tad, the eggs hatch into little um, polywog tadpole phase of a salamander and then they swim away, they go back on land and hide under logs or debris like we just found this one under, but always relatively close to the vernal pools. And they're just a really cool salamander. They are in the family Ambistoma, uh, excuse me, the genus Ambistoma, and they are what we would call a mole salamander. And they call these guys mole salamanders because typically they have, like we talked about with the spotted salamander, they have a subterranean lifestyle where they live underground most of the year uh, in burrows like a mole so that's why they get the name the mole salamander it's just an amazing animal so just like this salamander has good parental care our heavenly father cares very much about us so much so that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life and that's something to really think about god loved us so much that just like this salamander will lay around her eggs to assure that they survive, he sacrificed his only son so that we can survive for eternity with him. But it's not even just for that. Jesus wants a relationship with you right now. Don't wait till you get to heaven because when you get there, he might say, depart from me, I never knew you. Jesus wants to know you now, wants to have a relationship with you and really wants you to follow after him. Isn't this a cool salamander? Our God created him, and I'm so happy to have found one. Cuckoo!